Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm from Restoration London. Uh, we run a lot of upcycling and mending workshops around London. Today, I'm going to show you how to create uh, a darning weave technique um, to patch up any holes that you have in your knitwear. So for this technique, I've used Wool and the Gang's Al Pacino Merino yarn, but you can use any type of yarn that is the same thickness as the knit that you're going to be working on. And then you're just also going to need a darning needle. So this is a chunky blunt needle that has a nice big eye to fit your yarn through. And then you're also just going to need a pair of scissors as well for this. So once you've threaded your needle and you've got an, roughly an arm's length of thread, you're going to leave a one centimeter seam allowance around the hole. And you're just going to come through the knit stitch so you can come all the way through the middle. Pull that through. So, and you're going to leave roughly a 10 centimeter tail at the back that you're going to weave in at the very end. And you're just going to do a simple running stitch over the top of the knit stitch and underneath. So you're going over the top, under the next one, and pull that through. And then you're going to come back the other way, alternating the row of stitching. So you're going to bring your needle up in between the previous row of stitches. So your stitch will be in line there. And then you're going to go under and over again. Where the hole starts, you want to just kind of take your yarn all the way across. So you're creating your own own fabric using a weave. And then under, over. So that will be your second row of stitching. And then when you come back, you're going to repeat that all again. So the next row of knitting, you're going to come up, over the top of the knit stitch and under. And then when you reach the hole, you just want to gently pull your yarn all the way across the hole. And you want to keep your, your stitches nice and in line so you don't want to leave too much of a gap in between the yarn. And then always making sure you're going under and over the correct stitches. So next you're going to come over the top here so around the edge, you'll only have maybe one or two stitches within that one centimeter seam allowance. So you'll keep repeating this in your first color until you've completely covered that hole in your first color. So we're going to finish off this last row of stitching. So you're just coming over and under filling in that last hole and over alternating your stitches and then when you finish the hole you'll just stitch through the fabric at the bottom like you did at the top here so you're just going to come over and under again just through the fabric and then always finishing your stitching at the back of your work. You can chop down your yarn and just leave a 10 cm. So now you've completed your first section with your horizontal stitches in your first color. And you will have your tails at the back, your 10 cm tails at the back, which you're going to weave in at the end. You're then ready to take your second color and you can just single thread the needle with about an arm's length. And this time we're going to be working the stitches vertically and we're going to be going under all of the red stitches you see here from the back. So we're coming through the back of that stitch 
where the red is going over the top. And you're going to pull that through, leaving a 10 cm tail again at the back. And you're just going to thread the green underneath all of the red stitches that are on the fabric. So all the way under, so you can do a few at a time and pull that through. And then underneath these also, and you can come back on yourself here. So going underneath all of those red stitches. So once you've done underneath all of those, you can just bring your nail, uh, bring, your nail <laughs> bring your needle into the knit stitch and at the back again. And this is just anchoring that second color. And then you can come up again where the next row of red horizontal stitches are. When you reach the side of the fabric where the hole isn't, you can continue to just go underneath all of the red horizontal stitches. You're going all the way under. And when you reach the knit stitch where the loop is, you want to bring that needle through the loop and that just keeps that stitch in so it'll stop it from unraveling. And here you're going to go, when you reach the hole, this is where you'll be going under one red, red yarn over the next one, underneath the next one. So you're just repeating that under and over technique, but across the red where the hole is. And when you reach the fabric, you can just come through that stitch, pull it through, and you'll see that you've taken your yarn all the way across all the way across that hole. So that will be your first row of weave stitching. So once you've completed the first row of weave over your hole, you're then going to come back on yourself. So here we can just go into the stitch through the back, just to keep that in line. And then you'll see where your first row of stitching for the red yarn is, you can just come back up. And again, you're just going to go over and under. Here you can just go straight through that knit stitch just to make sure it doesn't unravel. And where you've gone over and under on the previous row, you're just going to alternate it. So where you've gone over the top, you're going to go then underneath and vice versa. So you'll keep going under and over, over, back and forth until the hole is completed and you can push your needle along with the threads to keep it nice and compact as you stitch. So once you've completed um, the hole with the second colour yarn, so you'll have created your fabric with the weave technique filling the entire hole, you're then going to just come underneath your horizontal red stitches along the fabric. So you're going to come back the other way. And where the fabric is, again, you're just going to weave underneath all of those red stitches. And then underneath here and back. The other way, finishing the last row of horizontal stitches. And you'll finish with your yarn at the back of your work. So you can just go through the knit stitch, finish it off so it'll look something like that. And now I'll show you how to weave in the ends. So you'll take one end of your yarn and you can just single thread it. 
and just the same as you would weaving your ends in with knit, you can just come underneath, weave it in, and then you can chop it down. And you'll do that for each end. So thanks for mending along with me. You can also watch the other uh, mending videos that I've got on the Wool and the Gangs YouTube channel. They are the houndstooth technique as well as the Swiss darning technique.